what is up guys, Kyle here from KGR, and it's time to continue South Park Stick of Truth. Alright, so last time we were gnomes, um, well we were a gnome, kinda, we were small, and we fought a bunch of gnomes, and we saw some very disturbing things, but most importantly, uh, now we gotta fight Craig, uh, cause apparently, uh, he has a stick of truth, and... He's planning to take over the world, pretty much. And it's going to be dangerous. And I think we need to go over to Cartman's place. Let me check on the map. Uh, no, we are actually going to Kyle's place. Uh, here, uh, the humans and the elves, they have to team up in order to take down Craig and his evil ways. Uh, I actually might be able to get this hey, Let's Play maybe done. Yeah, we might be able to get this Let's Play done, hopefully, this week. That'd be awesome. What's today? Tuesday? Oh, no, as of this recording. Like, by the time it's uploading, it might be Wednesday. Uh, I don't know. Okay, uh, this is Kyle's place. Wait, let's farm his dad. Hey. I'm dad. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, um... Cartman and Kyle have to team up, have everybody, like, help stop Craig, and it's pretty cool, I guess. Because then we can have a whole bunch of backup characters. Hmm. Okay. Alright, here we go. Ah, Commander Douchebag has decided to bless us with his presence. Let's get started. Humans and elves of Zaron, a great evil has descended upon us. After researching last night, I believe we are facing a threat to our entire world. Clyde's Fortress of Darkness is over four stories tall. So far, he has recruited at least 50 warriors to be on his team, and he is... <laughs> you have something to say, wizard? Uh, nothing. Just think it's kind of funny how drow elves in the Middle Ages can use PowerPoint. <laughs> you guys, this is serious. Clyde is attempting to raise an army of darkness. I believe he is messing with something he cannot control. He has recruited many of our friends, and so... Our only hope is for our two factions to join forces. Fuck that. We do not team up with fucking elves. You got a better idea, wizard fat ass? After what you elves did <laughs> after the Battle of Wormsley Woods, you think we'll ever trust you? Yeah, you, you tell a butter. That, that was Jimmy's fault and he apologized. Oh, oh, we're apologizing now. How about we apologize for breaking the rule about using arcane fire magic? Yeah. Hey, that was the human's rule, not ours. Join forces, my paladin ass. Only good elf is a dead elf. Why don't you st st suck my elven dick, butters? Enough! Whether we are human or elf isn't gonna matter one bit if all of Zaron is taken over by German zombies. We saw what that green stuff does. We better figure out a way to stop Clyde or there won't be a world to fight in. Even if we join forces, we don't have enough warriors. So we recruit more factions to join us. The pirates, the Federation, and the girls. The girls? Kyle, the girls are not gonna fucking play with us. Yeah, dude, we can't convince girls to do this. No, but maybe the new kid can. The new kid has a power we have yet to understand. He makes friends on Facebook faster than any we have seen. He is really good at getting Facebook friends. I'll give him that. Find a way to get the girls to side with us, Commander Douchebag. I'll deal with the other factions. The rest of you, return to your stations and prepare for war. Huzzah! Yeah, I think I'm going to get it done this week. I'm pretty sure the last play will be done by next week, like at the end of next week. Okay, we got an uh, upgrade available, and we are level 11. Awesome. Sweet. Underpants helmet. Makes enemies puke when they approach you. Yes, that is perfect. Uh, but let's take the uh, stuff off that. Um, Yeah, where's my underpants? I want my underwear helmet. Yes. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we can't... Uh, upgrade anything on it, which kind of sucks. Uh, but oh well. Hmm. Okay, uh, we don't want to put the, uh, gnome stuff on. Actually, no, I take that back. We might. We might. Some of it involves, like, being shrunken. Oh, uh, well, it's probably just a helmet. I have no idea. But yeah, we're good. We're good. Let's go. Oh yeah, we probably have some perks available too. Uh, so let's see, what's our new upgrade? Um, Senators beware. <laughs> Your plagues now inflict more damage. Let's go with that. And perks, we do have one available. Um, 
see what's what are we gonna put on use two PP when using a healing item that sounds pretty good um or first uh, your first attack does uh, extra damage that also might be good inflict more damage to stun targets and uh, maybe your max PP is increased by 20 uh, Using a potion now gives you an attack up. Oh man, it's also good. Oh man, I don't really know what to go with. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's put that one on. Cause then we can do Circumcise and then apply more damage. Wait, did it say we have another one? I don't think it did. I might be tripping, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just tripping. Okay, um, talk to Annie. I think Annie is like really far away, like all the way over here, maybe. No, she's at City Hall. Okay. So we have to go over here, down, got it, got it, got it. And we could just use uh, Timmy's thing to just automatically go there, but nah, I'm just gonna walk there, because then we can fight some Nazis, I think. Because it's not like we're gonna fight some elves, because they're on our team now. What's, it, what's in here? Oh, nope, can't go in there yet. You have to go into his house first and probably get the key. But I don't really care about that. Here. Oh, whoa, look at that bad frame rate. It's kind of because of the saving and stuff. It's It gets bad. <laughs> Here's Annie. What is this? The boys want us to play with them? I do owe you one. I can take you to the girls, but I don't think they'll be very willing to play with boys. Do you wish to speak to the girls now? Yes. <gasps> uh oh, we're being kidnapped. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Don't forget to bring it down! Oh my god, I can't do that voice. But... The 412th meeting of the girls is hereby called to order. Sparkle, sparkle! Sunshine! Sunshine, sparkle! Millie Larson has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, I move that we vote immediately on the urgent matter involving Monica Ryland. Yes! Yeah, yeah, right away! Right 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 Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I have an urgent matter that I believe needs to be addressed first. The chair acknowledges Annie. Sunshine, sparkle, Annie Nitz has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, a messenger comes with a request from the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Oh. Oh. Yes. What request do the boys ask of us? He doesn't really talk. That's hot. The boys are playing some new role-playing game, and the new kid here wants us to join his team. What? We don't have time for that. Something very big happened, and we must do something. I know. I thought maybe he could help. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, a motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Allie Nelson was spotted at the abortion clinic. I have never been to the abortion clinic. I'm not a whore. We aren't sure, but we think the girl spreading the rumors about Allie is Monica Ryland. And then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. So, we're gonna send Monica a Facebook page with your picture, then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood, and you wanna meet her and ask her what the best thing to get Bebe for her birthday would be, and see if Monica tries to hit on you at all, because that way we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. Right. Do this task for us, and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! Um... I don't know. I, I just don't know. You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. 
Okay, I think we had to meet her at the park, if I remember correctly. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, we'll just you, go this way. There's a rumor the girls have a secret base, but I've never seen it. Ah. Uh, I think we're about to meet some Nazi zombies soon. I don't think I've been up there before. Let me check. Nope. Oh yeah, I have. That was a waste of time. Yep, there's zombies right here. Excuse you. Oh yeah, I forgot. Not like uh, farts won't affect them. So you might as well put on something extra. Like instead of having a fart, like a gross damage on there, because that's not gonna help. Uh, maybe do some frost damage. Maybe lightning also might help. Now let's do lightning damage instead. Probably should have stunned them, but oh well, too late. Here we go. Come on, guys. Yep, he's weak to it. Awesome. Bam! Dead. Well, no, he's not dead. Still, we we, we attacked him, and that was good. Tap X. Yeah. Yeah. No. We're gonna need to get both of them because he will come back if we don't permanently kill him. So. There we go. Probably should have done a magic attack, like, a, like an ability or whatever. Stop attacking me! <laughs> now let's go back to the gnome pickaxe. So we can do a bunch of damage on him. That's good. Um, let's do the way of the sword. Tap X when you see it. I love that move. It's so awesome looking. Um, now yeah, we could just do a normal attack. Bam, dead. I can do this all day. Yep, same here. That reminded me so much of Cloud from Final Fantasy Seven. Da 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 da. <laughs> Look at that freaking cop over there. He's like missing his eye. Ah, that's great. Anyway, um, yeah, we gotta pretend being Bebe's boyfriend with underwear on our head because we're so awesome. <laughs> If shit goes down, I'll come running. Oh, hi. You must be Mike. So, you want to talk about Bebe, huh? Well, look, Bebe's my friend. I think she's really great. I, I don't know if she's the end-all, be-all of girls. I mean, she's a little two-faced if you ask me. But, hey, I've read a lot of your Facebook profile, and I think you're a really interesting boy. Aha! Uh -huh. We knew it! You two-faced manipulative whore! What the heck? Thank God we sent the new kid to spy on you, huh, girls? Yeah! Now we know you're a two-faced bitch! What do you mean? You guys are my best friends! Then why are you hitting on my Facebook boyfriend? We brought someone else who might be interested. Monica, what the fuck are you doing? Uh-oh. Hey, Jake. Have fun, you two-faced skank. Guys, wait! Please, come back! What's the big idea trying to fuck my girlfriend? Nothing to say, huh? Well, maybe you'll understand this! Big mistake. All right, let's let's kill him. All right, so let's do that attack. Awesome. So he's bleeding and shocked. Now he's grossed out, and he's dead. Yay! How awesome is that? Now let's rob him. 
Now we gotta return to Annie. I hope you're not playing that dumb game with everyone. Shut up. I'll smack you. Okay, there is no people here, so let's just fast travel to City Hall. Can we? Well, apparently not. Eh, but we'll, we can go here. So, yay, we're using the Timmy Express. <laughs> Sweet. Ah, frame rate. All right, girl. I just want to thank you for your help. We can go see them again whenever you're ready. All right, then, let's go. You know the drill. Oh, yeah, I actually know where the girls are actually hiding. I can show you that later. Because it'll actually help later. Whether or not Monica was a two-faced bitch, she really made us mad. But it turns out she couldn't have been the one spreading rumors about Allie Nelson going to the abortion clinic. Yeah, so we made up. You guys are the best. You see, the thing is, Heidi Turner was supposed to put on the Facebook page that you were Bebe's boyfriend, but she didn't. Because Heidi Turner is a two-faced bitch who says she likes me and tries to stab me in the back. Right, so we need to know if Heidi Turner is the two-faced bitch who's spreading rumors about Allie being spotted at the abortion clinic. But in order to do that, we need people to think you're a girl. Makeover! Makeover! No! No! I'm going with that. Love it. I know, it seems good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to wear that. You're as ready as you'll ever be, I guess. Let's get to the clinic. Yay. Um. Alright, new kid. Get inside the abortion clinic and find the records room. Take a picture of all the records from the past week and text them to us. That will help us find out who the two-faced bitch is. I'm sure you can appreciate why none of us can do this. If any of us are spotted in there, people might think we're sluts like Jessica Rodriguez. Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse. Hi, hey, 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 Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, what are you up to? Oh, nothing. Just finding out which of our friends is a two-faced bitch. Cool. We'll see you around. Awesome. Gank. All right, now go in there and get to the records room. Find out if Jesse had an abortion. Nice look. Sweet, let's get in there. There we go. Let's go in here. Let's go in here. No, you probably have to ask. Hi, here for an abortion? It's okay, don't be scared. The first one's always the scariest. Take room A, second door to your left. I'm sorry. Your little friend will have to wait out here. I... Okay. Access restricted to physicians only. Okay, okay, we gotta disguise ourselves as a doctor. Yes, we're gonna use that as our new weapon. The poison grenades. Okay, um first up let's unequip the thing on that. And put it on this. Uh has three ble bleeding damage. Um uh, or frozen attack. Ooh, that's Let's do a frost damage because it does a lot. Over here. Hi, I'm Dr. Poonlover. Get on up in the chair and this won't take long at all. 
Hey, little young to be having an abortion, aren't we? It's okay, we have a booster seat. All right, just sit back and relax. We'll get that fuck trash taken right out of you. Here we go. What the? Wow, never seen that before. You burned out the vacuum. I'm gonna have to get this thing fixed. Be back in a minute. I like how the doctor didn't see that that's actually a dude. But all right. Um. Where is a doctor's outfit? Oh, yeah, where am I supposed to find one of those? Was it in here? Because I thought I looked in here and I didn't find one. Oh, there it is. Now I gotta put all that crap on. Okay, um. Might as well equip it with stuff, so. Let's take off the gnome stuff. Okay, um. Let's put. Uh, do 50 more damage. Take off all the Noom stuff from that. And put on... And... Gain 5 HP per turn, maybe? See what the other ones are. Mm, that's damage. Melee weapons do 10 more damage. Gain additional money. I don't know. Let's do uh, 10 more melee damage. And then the other one. Yeah, there's nothing on. Got it. Whoops. Yeah, okay, I think we're ready to go. Now we can go into the records room, since now we're dressed as a doctor. Access granted. Thank you, doctor. Search 2013 once, and as you can tell, it's highlighted in gold, so that's the one you need to check out. Ah! Ah, damn it! Oh, it's you! Thank God! Something strange is going on here. The PTA reviewed that tape you got us. The Taco Bell has something called a Plan B. They've been here looking through these records, but why would they be interested in the gynecological files of the women of South Park? I'm afraid now you know too much. We have two more asking a lot of questions. Deal with them quietly. We can't let anyone find out what we were doing there. Before you kill us, tell us why. Why is Taco Bell taking the records of women's vaginas in South Park? I'm picking up some hot readings on the ESRB. Tell us, what do women's vaginas and Doritos Locos Tacos have in common? ESRB is going crazy. Oh, shit! There's an outbreak here! Isn't the ESRB like a rating seven. system? All units to Sector 7 now! Secure the entire building! Put that woman in restraints! Ah! What's going on? Uh, Taco Bell security. Your clinic is infected with a Nazi zombie virus. Nazi zombies? That's ridiculous! And bigoted! I happen to be German! He's one of them! Ah! Tell people what you saw here today! Let's go! Quarantine the plague! Okay, we're gonna do that next time. Uh, first let me check if the ESRB thing is actually a rating system. Yeah, it is. What do you know? 
Anyway, yeah, if you like what you saw, be sure to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And tune in next time for some more South Park Stick of Truth. Uh, hopefully, I should get this Let's Play done by the end of next week. And I will see you guys next video.